everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today is Thursday so we are doing our customer success stories and I have a story from a company called American Bible Society who has integrated plenty of our cameras into boardrooms, training rooms, conferencing spaces and we really wanted to highlight because they used a lot of unique mounting situations uh, which we want to show off so let's go ahead and take a look at what they've done here. So here's a picture of their really nice boardroom that they have here. At the front is a little PTZ Optics camera. You might not be able to see it so great, so we're going to actually um, go over a couple different pictures here. This is a, a ceiling mounted camera here. So as you can see, we have the, um, it's called the CM- Oh my, I don't even know our own part number. It's the, uh, the ceiling mount from PTZ Optics, and as you can see, it's a flush mount that allows you to clamp basically two plates together and have a really nice, easy um, mounting situation. It looks sleek, and I really like the white on white. Um, it's one of my favorites. So it's actually the, uh, let's see here, let's erase that. The part number for this uh, is actually PT-CM-BK dash one dash BK anyway um, it's on our website and that's just a really good example of a ceiling mounted they're running at HD SDI and then converting USB at the um, computer which is a great way to extend USB 3.0 or at least your video signal via HD SDI and then convert to uh, USB 3.0 with a frame grabber which we talked about yesterday so uh, here is another mount uh, a mounting situation that looks great when you have an open ceiling plan like this. Again, I love the white on white, and this mount uh, is actually our pipe mount, which uh, part number here, and I will get this one right, is HCM-1C. And uh, that would actually be dash 1C. And it's a white pipe mount, so that's a one inch threaded pipe that uh, you can extend downward um, to get the perfect view. So obviously, you know, ceiling mounting in this situation wouldn't work. So extending it down, uh, it was it was ideal for this scenario. Here's a picture of the back here. And as you can see, the cables are extending right out of the back and passing through from the camera right up that pipe. So that makes it a very clean, easy installation. That one inch pipe allows for HD SDI and looks like RS-232 for control to go right to that unit, which is really nice. Um, there's just another picture. Uh, one of the things as you can see here, they've actually clamped the pipe mount to a I-beam there. And then at the top, they've got power. So they just extended power down that pipe to the camera. And as we looked at earlier, once the cables go down the pipe, they just come out the back there. Final picture, just a little further back. As you can see, it just looks very crisp and very clean. I love the white on white. Um, so that is our vlog for today. Um, hopefully, if you have a, a great project that you've worked on, we'd love to feature your products on um, or your project on our blog. So feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more um, of this type of stuff. We've got great information. Uh, this upcoming Friday will be our 100% green live stream. And then the next Friday, I'm really excited about the history of live streaming. We're going to do a completely black and white live stream, which I think will be really fun. Thanks for watching, everybody.